Yeah. Well, he's he's poisoned, so he can't go again. At least have the war axe. This guy is running, so that's not a problem. So we gotta go after the leader. Not looking great. But we're at least getting there. Getting through these guys. They may be surrounding us, but we actually have the advantage at this point. Just keep keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing that warlord. He's probably gonna get some big hits right here. Yeah, he's starting to try to intimidate us. Which probably isn't gonna do a whole hell of a lot. It's still these archers that are just whittling down. Yeah, see like that's two people that the archers have taken out. And it's not the frickin' warriors, it's the damned archers on this frickin' platform. Guys, all sorts of injured and messed up. He's doing another another rage attack. Let me see how it is. Now, if you kill the warlord, does that actually like end the green skin invasion? So I have absolutely no idea. One more hit'll do it. Torkoal is dead. Yeah, no, they're all firing at Zakara. How much, how many arrows can that guy take? Jesus. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy his resolve to fight. There we go. No longer. No longer will he fight us. So it's literally just the goblins left. They're gonna, yeah, they're doing puncture on him too. God, I hate these guys. And they're just all gonna get away too. Damn. Shit, wrong hockey. Really, damn.
Well, at least you got one of them. So we're going to take a look at exactly what this battle means for us. We've got enough armor. You'll go right under him. Do as well. He no longer has a shield, so it'll be a lot easier to hit. God damn. So let's take a look. Basically, we we lost what Torkel, Bernard. Baldwin. Those were all of our basically. What did this guy get? A weakened heart. Jesus, that's one of the worst. Well, let's see what this even means for our freaking crew. This doesn't mean anything in the course of it, does it? It means nothing! Nothing! Nah, nah, this is... We've won actually harder fights than this. With, um... With our stuff without casualties. But, this is why we kind of stuck close to these guys. Basically what we can do... Is we can just run right in here and... We should be able to take this fight with... Well, we at least don't have an archer fucking platform. Well, we'll see. Uh, we, we've taken these fights uh, from these guys without casualty before. With actually more warriors on their side. And, and the big difference is... These guys, alright, we just, we can't take these fights during the day or something like that. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. They're just gonna, we're just dead if that happens. But we should have been taking that fight with the, the company here on our side, but they like disappeared into Grotenhaven as soon as, since they got here. Yeah, they're no longer here. Great. Ah. Yeah, we, we've definitely done it. It's it's just they keep fucking hitting. And usually you can get those those companies to actually follow you and like be there for the battles that you want them to be there for. Well, we'll see. Take another stab at it. This time we're going to pay more attention to those uh, goblin archers in the back and see if we can take them out. Because the, the last little bit there was all trash time. I could have done a lot of things to prevent the last, the last uh, casualty and things like that. The main thing was those two casualties we really couldn't do much about. Alright, so we got one of them. And there aren't that many of them. We just basically need to get lucky with hits or something.
But we've done it where we were able to rotate people out. We will see. Uh, it's not what we want. So let's see, twenty two percent chance, eighteen. Yeah, just we have awful percent chances to hit those guys way back there. And they probably have really good chances to hit us. for those big hits, big hits that we need. They're still gonna shoot Baldwin. But they're not all gonna hit. Because they're not on that damn platform with another 10%. So that's why they're moving forward. can't rotate in. We can't rotate them out. We need Baldwin on a, a rotation position here. That's also something that we do not have at the moment. So he's in the wrong spot. that miss see what the damage is. Interesting. They're going, coming all the way up here. Yeah, and Baldwin's toast. We weren't able to do anything with him. We're throwing the legends down. Like we can, we can kill these guys. That's not really the problem. That's poor Gash. Poor Gash is the dude. Yeah, 
And because we lost a couple guys, everybody's freaking out. Yeah, we've lost this fight already. Well, I guess the big difference earlier was we did not have any archers, and that was such a huge difference, it looks like. So we probably got a first fight without actually as much bullshit as we could have gone gone through. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was saying. That so it's dude is it's kind of like how do they have that sort of attack at that range? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, this fight's over. This fight's completely over. What we need is we need those guys to attack with us. If there's any way that we can actually engage this fight with something of a semblance of No, that's not that's not it at all. So yeah, orcs are too smart. Come on, let's, let's get out of this bullshit. This is what we have been going for the whole damn time. This is it right here. This is what we wanted. That's why we were next to those fucking people. I was like, come on, where the hell are you guys? Alright. This is this is also why I was upset. Is I was like, I've been sticking next to these these knights so that we'd actually have a better chance. I was like, this is the fight we should have been fighting the whole Frickin' time. Because it's not supposed to be a fair fight. You're supposed to use tactics, right? Hey! Hey, hey, assholes! Hey, knights! You're, you're patrolling the area, right? You're, you're paid to do this. Why don't you patrol the area you're supposed to patrol in? Anyway, I'm gonna need to go to the restroom, and I'll be back. To, to stomp the shit out of these. No, no, this isn't cheap. This is tactics, you motherfucker. This is why we were there. This is why, like, I, I, I said this before. We lost all this shit. Cause I was like, no, we're following these knights because they're gonna show up. We're using the knights to kill these assholes. This is the fight we've been supposed to get this whole time. So I'll be right back. If Baldwin dies again, he dies again. That's just that's just Baldwin's fault. Fucking Baldwin.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's finish these guys off. Let's finish them off by letting all the knights do the work. And see, they're not attacking Baldwin anymore. They're attacking Gruthard the Legend, who is really not that legendary, and we know that. Yeah, yeah. And before Baldwin the dog dies. These are all the sun bros too. Yeah, the dogs are not afraid, but they are now. <laughs> like this is a bad idea. I'm surrounded by three orcs. This is this is a bad this is a bad situation right here. We got Sir Walrum to back us up. Back us up. We got Billman in there. All right, so who are we gonna take a shot at? Probably the their archers. But I mean, this is this is the whole point. Like, you know, you're gonna get attacked by these guys. That's why we're following them. I couldn't get them to follow me on a two times speed so I slowed it down to one time speed on the last one there and they were actually able to proc the the attack with me so good so we're just trying to get in front of our archers and basically be a little bit intimidating so the AI does not want to attack us so the AI much more wants to attack the dudes who have shields, things like that, and then we will attack over their heads. And the other thing we can do is we can kind of shift their guys around with our rotates, with our rotate uh, perk, so we can kind of rotate them forward if we find ourselves in a bunch of trouble. I wouldn't count these orcs out yet. They can actually do quite a bit of damage. And we'll see if they can demoralize all the night night companions we brought along with us. We still do actually need to do some damage to these guys. Yeah. Praise the sun. They came to our aid. We've been helping the Sun Bros out for quite a while here. Through our entire campaign, the Sun Bros in the South have definitely been, been the guys we've been hanging out hanging out with the most. Those dogs though. So you can kind of see how effective maybe shields are against these these orc warriors. And I think what we're going to see is they are not that effective. Baldwin's already getting fucking wrecked here. Well, 
Well, Torleaf is here. Torleaf, Torleaf can take that. Baldwin's gonna stay back. The shield guys do have hammers, though, which is very important for them actually penetrating the armor on these warriors. But we're going to see a lot of shield walls. We're going to see a lot of them not being super effective against it, as far as I know. We're going to go for a little bit more shield break, double damage. And let's start shooting at some of these gavelins in the back row. We can't get up to the legend. We'll try to get around him. Like, we can't just sit back here. These 34 or so people on the screen supposedly should rout. But the problem is, these guys actually don't have great armor against these orc warriors. So we have to just press in there. They're basically buying us a couple turns. They are not a replacement for the damage that we have to do to the to the guys. Like as you can see they're already cutting into what you would expect to be a an, a vastly superior force. All right, let's see it. These guys are not getting that much damage off here. We're really going to have to bring it ourselves. Well, let's let's get it done then. You guys hold the wall and bring the banner. And we'll bring the pain. The dogs have more. Yeah, the dogs did more than the sun warriors. Alright, they got one. Can't move forward with you. You... You can move forward, that might scare him. It didn't. Well, good enough. Because we can bring this guy forward. We'll get a good shot in next time. Yeah, see those hammers? Yeah, those military picks do work. And we still have Sir Walrum. Where the hell is Sir Walrum? Yeah, he's down there. So we move forward. Axe in 18, Axe in 13, Axe in 15. Yeah, I think we're gonna run all the way around these guys. Damn, I wanted to run one farther. can't run it. Well, we'll get right in there. We'll start scaring the orcs. That's how badass these things are. Yeah, it's good and bad. I've seen them rotate my guys up to the front lines. And I'm like, wait a minute, guys. What the hell are you doing? All right, he's running. That means he's already dead. So this is this is what we can do right here. Rotate him, up, rotate that guy up there. Yeah, see, damn, two hits, 
two kills. They can do that. They can do that to people. Yeah, they're all gonna start running down here real soon. Well, unless they get that banner, that, that banner down there to help them out. Well, we can be a hero. Hank, you can be a hero. Don't be a hero, Hank. Yeah, that's what I was saying is these guys, while they look like they're super strong with their shields and their swords and all that, they're not doing enough damage. They need to kill these guys. That's the difference. They can't just survive. You have to win. Even that Baldwin. Bam, bam, bam. How much damage? Their standard bearers getting involved now. Baldwin, what can you do? We'll try to get somebody up there, rotate him, and at least not let the orc young die. Or we'll just let him die. He can't move on us. So at least, like, we, we paused with Baldwin. He can move again. And Zakara can also move. No, he can't. We got this Orc Warrior here. Yeah, we're just gonna have Torley front up here and uh, take whatever comes. And yeah, Bernard is gonna get up there and take their archers out. Excellent. That's what we needed to happen. Yeah. I guess we could have figured that would happen. <laughs> right flank. <laughs> right flank's getting wrecked. We're in a sense of support down there then. Like, we beat these guys the first time we fought them. And we only lost two guys. And these, these, this entire frickin' army is losing how many guys against them? Yeah. Can we even... Well, Hank needs to get over there. That guy's gonna go next. Hank needs to actually be effective sometime this year. Baldwin, on the other hand, needs to run away. Just get out of there. You are too injured, sir. You're too injured. And these frickin' archers are still doing more damage than the damned orcs do us. The other option is you can go to Dogtown and you can buy a dog for every person on your team and they just literally release 12 dogs on the first turn. That's the other way to get this sort of effect of just having a whole bunch of shit that the enemies can't deal with. It's basically like pay to win. The 
works real well. Baldwin, get out of there. 18% chance. 33. We'll go for one of those. What do we got? I don't like it. Bernard, you need to... You need to, to have not missed that frickin' shot. And I can't believe it only takes like one or two rounds and all of a sudden you guys are totally, totally screwed. Sir Wallroom at least is doing work. Like he ate the corpse. Well, let's see what these archers can do. I suspect not a whole heck of a lot. Come on, guys. That's what I don't like about these archers. They always end up running away and being a pain in the ass. It's kind of fun, anti-fun in game design. Them deal with that guy. We want the we want Ilskagul to be ours. That's, that's why we're here, boys. We're here to end these fights, not to start them. Excellent. That is also why we are here. So he can't attack us if we move up. You, Vernard. You, Bernard, are a little injured, so we're gonna back you out. Let somebody else take on, take on the forward masses. Somebody who actually has full armor. How about that? Thanks for hanging out, swam work. Have a have a good one, and uh, get back to work. Hopefully, hopefully work is fun for you. Once, uh, once we kind of finish these guys, we're pretty much done. So, I don't think you'll miss anything. I don't expect we're. We got Baldwin. Baldwin's okay. We're gonna keep Baldwin back as long as Baldwin lives. Everyone else is kind of guaranteed to live. 
this Baldwin always dies first. Even though he has amazing, amazing armor. So, thanks for hanging out, and uh, have a good one, man. Still can't get in there fast enough. Well then. They can't get knocked back, so they can't get knocked back. Definitely be back. Alright, cool. Well, thank you for your support then. Or at least the encouraging words. I usually do C++ coding during the day, and uh, when I'm kind of relaxing during the evening, I usually play a few games. So I'm trying to balance out the time a little bit. Bernard, you are damaged. You're not damaged, damaged, you're just damaged. I'm just gonna let these sun bros take the take the hits while we kind of reap. Reap from the outside. I'm getting hurt. Uh, Sir Sir Walram is not actually doing that great of a job. Ruff, 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 ruff. And we're not going to break the shields on these guys, because we don't really want to break the shields on them. Because then they'll kill them faster. We have a better chance to hit them than they do. So, we're being a little selfish at the moment. We'll probably end them faster than, uh, than they will. Yeah, like that. And like that, we got him. So I think that is everyone. So, we're good. <laughs> yeah, Sir Walram is a pillar. Sir Walram is, uh... He is untouched, untouched, unharmed, confident. But he is very fatigued. He is... Oh, man, he just saw... He just saw Mr. Dry Step just die in front of him. He took an arrow to the knee. You can see that knee right there? That's totally an arrow right in that. So we, we didn't lose a man, as that was a perfectly executed strategic maneuver. The battlefield has settled the dead are in their places they spent their whole lives getting to. The Greenskins are out running for their hills, and the Zakarians are cheering in victory. Baron Edmund von Grimmund will be most pleased. Yeah, damn right he will. We just made sure that, uh... Grotenhaven paid the price for our victory. Sir Walram, you, sir, were exhausted, but your men, sir, they were dead. Oh, yes, for a job well done. Yes, we, uh, we got your job finished. Now give us the damn bag of money. I don't give a shit about your, your people. Awesome. The epic music is just totally not in... Not really in kind with what just happened. Yeah, we did an awesome thing. We did so many cool things. We just let... We just let other people do our jobs for us. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Yeah, that's what everybody does, right? 
So we can actually buy a bit better armor, as we will do at the moment. They're giving us a great deal on their reinforced mail hauberk, so we're going to buy that. We're going to sell all the strange meat, because we don't need it. I'm going to buy back the fucking wood, because I shouldn't have sold that crap. Sir Walram's a good guy. I shouldn't give him shit for just doing his job. We should probably take the Lamellar harness off of off of our dude dude bro back here and actually swap that out with somebody in the front row. Cause it is a better better suit of armor. We've had the Lamellar Harness on Gisela the Coward, because he's a little brain damaged, you know, he took some shots to the head. <laughs> it feels well ram. It feels well ram indeed, sir. Like, that guy fought the whole fight after all the saves coming bullshit, and he's still the last turn just... Just, just fucking gave it all. I mean, what a chump, right? Baldwin's gonna get a better hat. And the reason we have Baldwin on our team is because he actually is necessary. We need a cultist because that cultist Baldwin is gonna murder one of our guys here and get like the best item or whatever the hell in the game. So we need him here to do that. He needs to murder one of us. So we're gonna save it as Warlord. And where are we going next? Minerfels is gone, which sucks. We really tried to defend the north, but I believe we're going to have to go back north because the south doesn't seem too hard-pressed at the moment, or any moment. Cemetery of the Poor. All right, well, maybe that's not a, that's not a really big issue at the moment. <laughs> you know, they're poor, right? What do they got in that cemetery? It's a bunch of fucking shit we don't need. Some geist? Yeah, fuck those guys. We're not going there. I don't need geist all to my shit. It feels wall room. I need to have that plastered on my wall. Like, feels wall room, man. Feels wall room. This is true. It's true. It's honest. Because total bullshit. Walrum came out there. He saved our asses. There's no denying that. And we totally just let his men be murdered. And and we didn't care. At least I didn't care. Maybe you did. Heinrich von Rosenfing. Search... Battle site south of Damwall for clues. Free any prisoners you find. This actually sounds interesting. This sounds like something we should do. Not because of any other reason, but because it actually sounds like an interesting mission. So we're gonna take a second here and we're gonna check on our check on our dudes. Well injured. One to three days. One to three days. Is there a temple up here? Yeah, there's a temple. We're gonna go to the temple, heal up, and we're gonna do the quest. It's interesting that Baldwin, the frickin' cultist, gets healed at a temple, right? Like, 
His whole thing is he's worshipping Dabkul, which is the lord of, like, hate and destruction. But he goes to the temples of, you know, obviously the lord of whatever healing and good in this world to get healed. And it works, right? They bandage him up and he heals, but he doesn't give two shits. He's like, no, Davkul is his lord. I mean, how how much of a of a of a convert do you have to be to just be like, nah? It doesn't matter. Davkul didn't heal me, but it doesn't matter. Dead piled upon dead horses here and there. One scampers into the distance, bucking and wild. Start looking for clues, sir, but it'll be rough. Search everywhere. We ain't found shit. Alright, so they have a clue, and apparently it's Greenskins. You spot a split in the tracks. Some continue straight ahead while the others branch off and shoot into the bushes along the path. You can take a genius. I'm like, this is a fucking trap. Yeah, even I knew this was a goddamn trap. I'm like, yeah. Alright, great. So it's 12 on 24. Sir Waller, Sir Waller, paging Sir Waller. Yes, uh. Oh, you're busy. Oh, yes, important business. Yes, Holden Shovin needs Holes Shovin? Yes, uh. Shit. Alright, so there's a goblin overseer down there. What do we got going on? Well, we're gonna have to move forward. That's just what happens. We gotta, like, fan out and fuck these guys up. I think we have enough armor. The question is really going to be, can we get there fast enough? We could do like a one side circle around. But I don't see anything I'm too afraid of. It's more of just we need to get into range and mess them up. Damn. This is not a fight we wanted. This is an interesting fight, though. Like, that's why we took this mission. Is because we're, we're trying to figure out, like, what this game has in store for us. This is a fight I have not seen before. Like, 24 freaking goblins surround your butt? I ain't seen this before. I didn't even know this was possible. Sixty-two, forty-seven. Yeah, sixty-two seems like the best shot. Of course, we're gonna miss. That's okay though. That's that's fine. Let's just get out there. Let's let's get up there, Mister Ruthar the Legend. We're gonna take you bastards, bastards down. Forty-six, eight. Okay, forty-six is our is our number. So if we can actually... 32, why is it such a bad percent chance to hit? That's my question. I'd like some more explanations on the numbers. For, um, some of it. Because I understand why, like, usually, why there's a bad percent chance to hit and why there's a good chance for, percent chance to hit. But when it's like somebody who has a good melee skill up against a goblin or something, it's like, come on, give me a little bit of, like, 
he has 62 defense and you have X offense and blah 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 and I can excel spreadsheet a little bit I think that's a little valuable to me to me Come on, guys. We spread out. We're engaged. You have no nose. You're fucking poisoned. Man, they're all retreating to that platform. Look at these guys. There's tons of them. Christ! It's like three layers of ugly bastards on the southeast. Southwest. The southeast to be down here and there's... Well, there are three of them. They're not as ugly as those three, though. This is ridiculous. I mean, we could, like, circle the wagons and just shoot out from there, but uh, it's not going to work. Though this is a fight where shields could do a better job than swords. If we move up. We can do a big swing and we murder two of them. Excellent. Excellently done. What can we do here? Nothing. Thirty-two, twenty-seven. I wish it would tell me what's the chance to hit my own guy. I wish we could. I wish we could save you, man, Bernard. But there's nowhere to go here. We can't move. All right. 